Okay. So uh, yearbook group in the yellow. Here's what you're doing. Okay, so you have all these different files. Okay, so what I'm going to do, these are the raw foot file, raw footage files. Okay, these are all, this is all the footage that we have. A lot of them are videos and things like that. Okay, uh, that when we talk about yearbook and things, you know, when we talk about raw footage, raw images, these are things that are not uh, images that have not been edited. Okay, so what we're going to do is I'm going to go to yearbook. Okay, 23, 24 yearbook. So let me click on that. I'm going to give, I'm going to make a, a short uh shortcut for us okay so this is yearbook student pictures these are shared with students okay for the spread so we've got the cover dedication admin office staff so on and so forth so when you go down we got all the pages through number 60. okay now here's the way we're going to roll this so we have dress for success and what i'm going to do is i'm going to share pictures with students okay so I'm going to relabel this as uh, I'm going to relabel this as spreads. I'm going to call this yearbook. I'm just going to call it spreads because what a spread is uh, for yearbook. What a spread is is the the two pages. So for example, when I look at you know Studio Balfour and I'm going through this and I'm logging it in. Uh, and then I'll have our, our editors and so on and so forth. I'm going to launch, launch what's called Encore, okay? And this is called the spread, okay? So the spread is like what they've just got done doing. So a spread is like page two and three, page four and five, page six and seven, page eight and nine, 10 and 11, 12 and 13, 14 and 15, so on and so forth, okay? So these are called spreads. So if you look at these folders, Okay, uh, let me close some of these out here. When you look at these folders, these are called spreads. Okay, and we'll just, I'll need to put spreads. All right, so these are spreads for the yearbook. So once we get those done, we're going to put all the pictures that we think we need in there. Okay, so that being said, you know, uh, we'll come back later and add the pictures right here. But if you notice, we don't have anything other than what I've just added. There's nothing to add yet. Uh, the way it works out is these are the pictures that we have, you know, and I've went ahead and started, you know, everybody right here. And then we can go from there. OK, so that being said, we have all the pictures for page one that's going to go there. All the, the covers, the cover, page one page two, page three, so on and so forth. So for example, let's look at the admin page. Here's page two, admin page, okay? So let's go back to our 23-24, okay? And so we're gonna go yearbook student pictures, okay? So what I've done is this is shared with a certain group of people okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to share this with everybody in our class okay so this is shared with everyone in our class so for example uh cadence uh dress for success whatever you know whatever we've taken pictures of you know where whatever everybody's going to start getting to take pictures so let's go through and find an admin okay so there's miss shockey Okay, so there's a couple ways you can do it. And if you notice, there's an HEIC file. That's a good file we can use, but that's not a file that need that, that can be used. Okay, so if you're going to use an HEIC file, you need to convert it to a JPEG file. An HEIC file is a file that's taken from a iPad. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in here. I'm going to go to dress for success. I'm going to download it and there it is downloaded. Okay. And there's the HEIC file and then I'm going to convert it. Okay. Uh, so that is Miss Shockey right there and it's going to convert to a JPEG image that I can use it. Okay. Now you don't have to log in, you know, these are just the pictures that you really want to use the pictures that you're really wanting to edit. Uh, the, the pictures that you feel like are going to be what we're going to use. Now, in this case, we need to flip it around to make sure it's right. 
okay, because you don't want it to be sideways. All right, there we go. So now uh, here's the admin. Let's go to the admin folder from the spreads, okay? So we said spreads. Let's go to yearbook 2324, okay? And this is where our editors are going to say, you're going to share that fit picture with the editors, and they're going to go in here to admin, and they're going to add pictures to the spreads page. Okay, so boom, there it is. Okay, now there's only so many pictures we can put. So, you know, in this case, this is actually a good picture that might not need to be edited, but it could be. So if you look at it, now we got some pictures for page two. Now let's look at page three. All right, so let's go back and see what we have on our pictures. Let's go back, 23-24 yearbook. Uh, here's some pictures here, dress for success. Uh, let's look at our office ladies. See if we can find one. There's another, there's another one for the for the admin, which is good. But, you know, you might even could crop this down and do, you know, Mr. Taylor and Dr. Trimble, you know, because that's a good picture, you know. So there's a lot of things you can do with it. I think I thought I saw Miss Corman on here. Okay, there's Miss Corman. There you go. So that being said, you have this. Okay. Now, here's another easy way to do it. If you don't want to go to do the conversion, you can always just take a screen capture. You can always take a screen capture of it. But me personally, because I want to make sure the, the file is like, you know, the best it could be, I'm going to do the conversion. All right. So you got, there's Miss Corman. Okay. Uh, and there's, it's downloading and then converting. This, this enables the file to be, and if you notice, it says 3.3 meg. So by, by, that file being 3.3 megabytes, it's a better quality picture, okay? So now I'm going to go back to our office ladies. So let's go back to page three, and I'm going to drop in Ms. Corman. Okay, so this is going to take quite a bit of time to figure out. Once we get these folders done, and once we get everything working like we want, then we start placing them in to Encore and wait the basically the way you do that is you can like for example it's got an upload folder and this is something I will do and I can upload these files you know and all that stuff and it's very simple to do but what I need everyone to do I don't need people playing games I need people looking at these pictures I need people talking to Lauren and Cadence to make sure that we have the spreads completely done or, you know, once we get this, all the pictures we want in like page two and page three and page four, then we can start adding them. We can, I can do a subdivider column. Okay. Uh, and, and all that good stuff. All right. So that being said, we need to be on point. We need to make sure we're doing what we're supposed to do. Uh, I'm going to be monitoring it. And this is going to be how we're going to work our class for everyone. You're going to get a daily grade. Okay. Everybody's getting a daily grade. So people in yellow, if you're not being pulled to another group, then you need to be looking for pictures. Okay. So there it is.